it builds community is also. So you yeah. said this is as old as humankind, but what is it now other than the economy? How did, how did this whole idea of sharing get mm -hmm. started now in the modern world where it's become a movement? Yeah, I think um, you know, there's a, a variety of factors. One thing to look at is, is how um, social media is impacting culture. And uh, I look at Web 2.0 and social media as kind of a training ground for sharing. Um, that millions of people, hundreds of mil millions, if not billions of people, ha are learning the value of collaborating online and sharing content and sharing their lives um, and using those tools. And now then some of these tools that help you share things offline use the same conventions that Web 2.0 use and using them to help us share our you know, tangible items. Well, you know, that's very interesting because some people say that social media like Facebook, all the stuff we do online kind of takes away that face-to-face -face relationship. Yeah, but I and think And now people, what you're talking, you seem to be saying is it's connecting us. Well, is I think, it? I think people are kind of, there are a group, I think, a cohort that's kind of sick of just spending their time and sharing online that they want to get offline and, and want to use those online tools to connect offline in different, in, in more fun ways. Yeah, I think, I think with all the social networks and all the movements that's happening online, I think it's connecting more and more people, same interest groups, and it, the online is kind of like the trust layer is already built online. So people are starting to trust each other online and starting to transact online, and, and that connects the online world into the offline uh, communities. So I, I think we are, we are at that phase where online and offline are starting to get connected to each other. Oh, that's fascinating. Now, at the same time, while we've had the Web 2.0 two, uh, two technologies. And what's the Web 2? So in other words, the sharing that's going on through, like Wikipedia is a great and example. Facebook and Facebook. Twitter and yeah. you know, MySpace. All different ways for people to connect with people they choose to connect with based on some type of shared interest or value. and. Um, at the same time, you have other folks who are coming to the discussion who are coming at from an environmental point of view in that I want less stuff. We don't need as much stuff. Um, lots of folks who have you know, seen that the, the things about the world of stuff and we don't need all this stuff. So just take it to goodwill. Take yeah. it to the Salvation Army. Yeah, and so then the, some people are not as fond of those particular economies and want to find another way. Why, why can't my next door neighbor use it? But if only I were talking to my neighbor, then I'd know that they have a need. And so what's interesting about some of these tools is that they're helping people. Even this past week, I met someone who lives three blocks for, from me who I never knew existed because they happened to have a cat litter pan and I happened to need one and I was shopping for one earlier thinking I better think about it and then there was one posted for free and it was like wow here's a person who lives three blocks away who I now have met we both had kids the same age I and and she has other stuff that that will be perfect for where I'm at in my life and I don't have to go out and buy anything and she's not throwing something away so there's that environmental aspect to it and then there's also the community building that's naturally happening through it too in that um, one of the things that I've studied and looked at in, and in building programs is like how do you get people to build that relationship as well because people are more likely to follow through and engage in it again if they have a social reward. So for example, um, even as we were talking about developing sustainability challenges, it was if you teach people to change a light bulb, that, that's one layer of, uh, of interaction with the topic. But once you get to the point where the kid gets extra points for going next door to change the other person's light bulbs, and then you're getting a connection, a community connection, that isn't that 100 times more valuable? Well, that makes the assumption that mm -hmm. people want to have that connectedness, and they want to have it on that level. And in our society, we have been more or less brought up with this eye of competition. Mm -hmm. If my neighbor gets something, that means I don't have it. Right. Or I have to live up to the Joneses. So are, what are we talking about? Are we talking about a change in thinking? Well, I think there's a change in the value system. Um, and instead of looking at one another as competitors, we're you know, starting to see each other as potential collaborators and, and that we can work together. And especially when times are tough and you know, money is tight, um, then you start to look at people around you in a little bit different way. Like, how can we work through this together? And I think that's pretty natural for people to do that. Now, is this just a small circle? We're talking about online. Uh -huh. We're talking about community. 
But are we talking about something that's worldwide? Are we talking about something that's localized? What are we talking about in terms yeah, of I scope? Think, yeah. I think it's, it's a worldwide movement. I mean, there are similar sites like Rentalic in other parts of the world. And I'm getting emails from as far as South Africa or India or different places asking, hey, when can we get a similar site in our part of the world, right? We want to do it in this part of the world. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a worldwide movement. And it, like we said, like the environmental factors, the economic factors, and the cultural changes are kind of fueling the movement. And it's kind of created the perfect storm. 